India's defense sector is undergoing a major transformation from historic reforms to bold indigenization targets and unprecedented surge in defense production and exports. Defense Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh recently laid out the scale of change, calling it one of the biggest reforms of the century. Here is our special report. In a bold push towards self-reliance, India's defense sector is undergoing one of the most significant overhauls of the century. And at the heart of this transformation is the corporatization of country's over 200-year-old ordnance factories. A move Defense Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh describes as bold, necessary and historic. Once slow-moving and bureaucratic, these factories are now independent profit-making entities operating with efficiency, accountability and purpose. But structural reform is just one piece of the puzzle. India has launched an aggressive indigenization campaign, releasing five positive indigenization lists by the armed forces and five more by defense public sector undertakings. Together, they identify over 5,500 items from major weapon system to the smallest components that will no longer be imported. These include critical platforms, strategically important subsystems, spares and line replacement units, all of which are now slated for production within the country. To give this effort real momentum, the government has revised a massive 75% of the capital procurement budget for domestic companies. And the result is striking. In 2014, India's defense production stood at 40,000 crore rupees. Today, it has crossed rupees 1.27 lakh crore and is expected to surpass 1.6 lakh crore within a year. The vision of 2029, defense production worth rupees 3 lakh crores and all made in India. Meanwhile, India's defense exports have surged exponentially from just rupees 686 crores in 2013-14. They now stand at rupees 23,000. 622 crores with Indian made defense products reaching nearly 100 countries across the globe. The government is targeting rupees 30,000 crores in export by the end of this fiscal year and 50,000 crores by year 2029, cementing India's status as a rising player in the global defense marketplace. Driving this momentum is a strong push for innovation, especially among young entrepreneurs and startups. The Innovations for Defense Excellence Initiative or the IDEX supports emerging companies with up to Rs 1.5 crore in funding. Building on its success, IDEX Prime now offers support of up to Rs 10 crores for advanced technologies. The newly launched Aditi scheme raises the bar even higher, with up to Rs 25 crore available for breakthrough innovations. So far, the Ministry of Defence has approved over rupees 2,400 crore worth of purchases from startups and MSMEs and green light projects worth another rupees 1,500 crore for technology development. Today, India's defence capabilities span the full spectrum, from strategic deterrence to frontline innovation. The country now competes with global power in missile technology with systems like Agni and Brahmos in naval strength with INS Arihant and INS Vikran and in new domains such as artificial intelligence, drones, cyber defense and hypersonic platforms. From restructured factories to futuristic warfare, India's defense sector is no longer just preparing for the next battle, it is building for the next century. Reform is no longer a policy, it's a movement. One powered by innovation, backed by industry and guided by a vision to make India a global leader in defense manufacturing.